What is a dobutamine stress echocardiogram? A dobutamine stress echocardiogram is a test that uses high-frequency sound waves or ultrasound to examine the heart's anatomy and function. Infusion of the drug dobutamine mimics the effects of exercise on your heart by increasing the rate and strength of its pumping action. A dobutamine stress echocardiogram is usually performed in patients who need a stress test but can't walk quickly on a treadmill. An assessment can be made of the status of your heart at rest, as well as during and immediately following stress. This provides your doctor with information regarding whether you have significant blockages in your heart arteries. The test also assesses the pumping function of your heart and the status of the heart valves. Common reasons to have this test. To determine if coronary artery disease is present and if further studies and or treatment are required. To evaluate progress following a major cardiac event such as a heart attack or heart surgery. To investigate the effect of stress on heart valve function. Preparing for the test. Different laboratories will have different specific instructions about how to prepare for this test. In general, you will be asked not to eat, drink, or smoke for at least three hours before the test. Do take your usual medication with a small amount of water unless instructed otherwise by your doctor or nurse. Diabetics who use insulin or glucose lowering agents may need to adjust their dosage. You should always check with your health care provider if you are not sure. The test. The following is an explanation of a typical study. The way your study is performed may vary slightly from this explanation. Usually, the test is performed in a stress test laboratory and takes approximately one hour, although you will receive the dobutamine infusion for approximately 15 minutes of that time. You will be asked to disrobe from the waist up and will be provided with a gown to wear. A specially trained nurse will place electrodes on your chest and wires will be attached to the electrodes so that the electrocardiogram, or ECG, can be monitored continuously during the test. For men, limited shaving of the chest may be required to assure good contact between the skin and the electrodes. An IV will be started to allow for the infusion of the dobutamine. A blood pressure cuff will be placed on your arm so that your blood pressure can be measured before, during, and after dobutamine infusion. Next, you will be asked to lie on an examining table and the sonographer, a specially trained ultrasound technologist, will obtain ultrasound pictures of your heart using a small handheld transducer and water-soluble gel. The lights will be dimmed to reduce glare so that the sonographer can better see the picture monitor. While you lie still on the examination table, the dobutamine infusion will be started with gradual increases in dose over time. Your electrocardiogram will be monitored continuously and your blood pressure will be checked intermittently. From time to time you will be asked if you are experiencing any symptoms. Ultrasound pictures will be repeated at every dose level of dobutamine, about every three minutes. The test will be continued until a specified heart rate is obtained. The infusion will be stopped should there be any signs of inadequate blood supply to the heart muscle. Inform the nurse if you notice chest pain, dizziness, lightheadedness, or shortness of breath. After completion of the dobutamine infusion, you will continue to be monitored until your heart rate and blood pressure return to pre-stress levels. Is it safe? Stress testing is very safe. The likelihood of a serious complication, such as a heart attack or death, is less than 1 in 10,000. Keep in mind that you will be continuously monitored throughout the test by experienced personnel and that the test will be stopped if there is any indication that continuing the drug infusion would be unsafe in any way. Transient side effects can occur with dobutamine infusion. Most people notice their heart pounding during the test. Occasionally, patients may notice that they shake or shiver a little. 
Neither of these effects causes any harm, and both go away shortly after the discontinuation of the drug infusion. Complications related to diagnostic ultrasound have not been reported.